So these works are for our Adrian Piper show, which is in 2018. And when we were examining these to um, think about having them in the show, we realized that they're all hinged down to their mat boards in a way that looked like it could be problematic for removal. So we wanted to get these in early because we didn't know how much time this treatment would take. And there are 35 of these works. With the adhesive we found on these drawings, um, it was unusually yellow to what we would expect to see because adhesives do yellow when they age. But this was such a bright yellow that we wondered if there was something else going on that we we didn't know about. And luckily here at MoMA, we have two conservation scientists. So when we run into a question about materials like this, we can have them perform analysis and hopefully get some answers. So our scientists took a sample of the adhesive we had gotten from um, the drawing, and he ran some analysis. And here he ran FT, FT sorry, Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy on the sample, and he found that it is similar to an adhesive used in masking tape. And you can see here this red line on the spectra is the adhesive from the piper, and then this purple line is um, a reference of painter's masking tape. And you can see that the peaks match fairly well. But luckily, in our explorations of these works, we found that the adhesive is quite flexible, which you can see some of the adhesive right there from another drawing. And the paper is quite strong and thick. So we just start by, I'm going to put some weights here so the work does not move. But we can just go in with a thin metal tool, a micro spatula, and start just working through the adhesive. And you can actually see the tool moving under the paper. This adhesive is quite flexible still, but over time, it will get more rigid. So this is something, when we find it on an artwork, we want to remove it as soon as we can. have his conclusions. Um, technical grade plasticizers often discolor to begin with and will get worse over time. If given enough time, uh, will migrate into and discolor the paper. And his recommendation, use a conservation quality adhesive, <laughs> which is always what we advise people.